Hey everyone, it's Gabrielle with Oxmoor Auto Group. So I am here today at Oxmoor Toyota. I have Chuck here with Hi, me. Hi Gabby. Hey. Uh, so you guys, we have the 2020, this is the Toyota RAV4. Now this is the hybrid. This one's the XLE and it's all wheel drive. Mm -hmm. But um, the hybrid is new um, and it is an amazing vehicle. So Chuck, tell everybody about this. Yes, so everything on the 2019 uh, RAV4 is a complete redesign, brand mm -hmm. new. This is a 2020 and it's the hybrid version as you mentioned, right? Right. And so these things are selling like hotcakes. They're very, very popular right now. The safety systems on this is unmatched. What do you hear about the power and everything? But the safety systems, Toyota Safety Sense P, it's the 2.0 version. Okay, so Toyota Safety Sense P 2.0, and this gives you pre-collision, uh, where it can detect and you know alert you, even apply the emergency brakes, and uh, hopefully bring you to a complete stop. So it has that with pedestrian, low light pedestrian, bicyclist detection. So it's a enhanced version of the original Toyota Safety Sense P. You also have lane departure alert with lane tracing assist. So lane departure alert beeps if you hit your solid or dotted line on the road when you're going to 32 miles an hour or faster. The tra lane tracing assist, when you're in dynamic radar cruise control, so you set cruise control, you're driving down the highway and it's slowing you down a predetermined distance between you and the car in front of you. It's also following that car, reading the lines and keeping you centered in your lane. So you actually feel the steering wheel responding. It's a great thing, especially for long trips. I drove one of these uh, about five hours. I touched the pedal maybe four times because of the dynamic radar cruise control and it just kind of guided me the entire way. It was awesome. That's nice. So really cool safety features, road sign detection, auto high beams on these LED lights. So at night, your lights automatically come on when it gets dark, rainy day like this. When there's no headlights or taillights in front of you, it's gonna kick on your high beams. You don't even have to think about it. You never have to touch the lights on this. So it's really, really cool. And then I wanna talk a little bit about the power. So this is the hybrid version. And the reason you get the hybrid is because fuel efficiency. So this one gets 40 miles to the gallon, right? Which is awesome. Regular XLE gets 29, which is still good for an SUV, but the gas model 29 versus 40 on this one. And here's the kicker. Here's what they did with this engine and the hybrid system. This has more horsepower. It's 219 versus 203 on the gas. So you're getting better fuel efficiency and better horsepower with this hybrid system. That's crazy. And a four cylinder. It's awesome. <laughs> it is. And then everything else that you love about Toyotas with the crumple zones and the TNGA platform, the gel mounted engine, all the, uh, clear container so you can see where your fluid is easy to get to the oil to check that mm -hmm. what's one thing that you don't see i'm not sure i've never really looked under the well you don't see the battery so <laughs> okay you don't see the starter battery or the hybrid battery in there as well these orange things are how you know that it's a hybrid don't ever okay. touch the orange ones don't That's touch the orange okay aware. good to know i know you go into engines you start pulling you start stuff pulling and, things yeah. out. so don't do that on the hybrid okay this thing's very technologically advanced <laughs> and so uh Great new comfort features here. This is the power seat and the XLE. One of the things that Toyota really wanted to do, they did this like national survey about what uh, consumers are concerned about. Mm -hmm. They found out seat comfort is like the number one concern over safety, over performance, everything else. So they did the performance, the safety, everything else. They also made it one of the most comfortable seats out there. So I've ridden in these. Uh, they are fantastically comfortable, very intuitive. The uh, power seat and all that feels fantastic. You've got that big back seat back there, 60-40 split, so you can have, you know, car seat there and then also load stuff up back here. So in the previous hybrids, um, there was like a little bump back here, okay. right, to make room for the hybrid uh, battery engine drive system, all that. Right. Now you don't lose any of that cargo space, so uh, just it's smooth. You can lay these down. Tons of cargo space back here. This one comes with a tonneau cover. And then I want to go inside and show you some of the cool features. They updated the radio as well in 2019, okay, awesome. and so we'll go take a look at that. All right, sounds good. So on this car, this particular package, this has the cold weather package, which I'm really happy about right now, even though I haven't turned my seat warmer on, but it has a seat warmer, even with the cloth seats. This also has a heated steering wheel. So right here at the 10 and two position, it's actually warm and feels fantastic. I like this more than the seat warmer personally, but this is very, very cool. It also has a cool feature where underneath the windshield wiper blades, there's a heating element and you can turn that on to actually defrost the blades and not just the windshield as well. So that cold weather package is uh, super handy, especially if you're in uh, you know, a place like here where it gets cold in the winter time. Also, Apple CarPlay is now standard uh, in the 2020s and I wanna show you this. It also has Android Auto. I just happen to have an iPhone, so we're gonna just show that. So this is the home screen of the regular radio. And when you go to Apple CarPlay, it's your phone. So these are my apps. There's my phone, messages. You can go to Amazon Maps, or uh, not Amazon, but Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze, if you have that. Um, all those interact with 
your radio here. So you can have Waze actually up on your radio, which is really cool. Then your home button, come back here. Also your music. So I have Amazon Music. I listen to podcasts on Stitcher. The now playing is your current um, on your phone, whatever was playing last. If you have Spotify, if you have Pandora, iHeartRadio, any app that plays music like that that's uh, compatible with Apple CarPlay will pop up here and you can actually interact with it. So see, you can play your favorites and your podcasts and your list. I'm not going to show you all those because it could be embarrassing. But it's your phone and it's very intuitive. So it looks like your phone. It's uh, just a fantastic feature. You plug it in down here to this main USB and your phone charges while you're able to use it. So you have navigation built in, all your presets, you know, because uh, everybody uses their phone for navigation pretty much anymore. So all that's set up and you have it just built right in here. We can see it here. You don't have to look at your phone. You don't have to get one of those mounts that you know, plugs up here. It's all uh, integrated with the radio, which is really cool. The other thing I want to point out, when we go to source, on every 2020 in the RAV4, you get XM radio for uh, trial period. So every car now comes with XM radio in the 2020 uh, RAV4 family, which is fantastic. I don't know what was on here last. Pitbull. So just other things that uh, RAV4, this thing is built to drive and it's built to go a long distance with that 40 miles to the gallon and that horsepower. You can get in, put in your XM station and just listen as you drive across the country. I mean, this thing's fantastic. This is meant to be driven. There's also some cool features down here. You have eco mode, sport mode. So you can change the way that the car shifts. So if you say, I don't like saving fuel, even though I bought a hybrid, I want more power, even though it's 219 horsepower, you can switch it to sport mode and it'll change the way that the car shifts so that you get, uh, you know, a little bit more power, you can change it back to eco, normal, EV mode. So if you live in a city and you're only going a couple blocks, you can force it into EV mode if you have a high enough charge and it will drive just using the hybrid battery system. So it's limited miles, limited speed, but if you're just going a couple blocks, you can force that if you have a high enough charge and get to places without the gas engine ever kicking on. You also have a trail button, uh, which is a really cool feature. So on this one, every single, you have all wheel drive, right? So it's sending power to all four tires. Now, if you are in a situation where the road is bumpy, you know, you're a little bit sketched out about, you know, you feel the car slipping a little bit, you can put it into trail mode. And what it's gonna do is it uses the all wheel drive system. It uses the traction control. It uses the brake system that we have in the star safety system and the driving system. It will send power to the wheels that have traction. So if one, you know, misses because of a pothole, it can send power to the places that it does have traction, which is a really cool feature. You don't wanna be in it all the time because you'll wear the components out, but it's a great way to get you know, got it out road, something like that, that you're trying to get down. Uh, cool little feature to have. And then one of my favorite features, I've probably said that a bunch of times, but this really is uh, a cool one. It's got an electronic parking brake, right? So you have the e-brake here, and then you have the hold button here. And so when you get in the car, you put your seatbelt on, you push the hold button. And then what you will see, up, I don't know if you can see here, let me get that out of the way. All right, so this green light down here let you know that the whole uh, system is activated, okay? And so I'm gonna put the car in drive. And you'll notice this yellow hold, the word hold appears, right? I have my foot on the brake, car's in drive. I can take my foot off the brake and it's gonna sit here and hold me into place. So when you get to a red light or a stop sign, you take your foot off the brake, it's gonna hold you in place. All you have to do is hit the gas and you're gonna take off, right? So you don't have to put the car in park, anything like that. Just a lot of great little intuitive features like this. Uh, dual air control in this one as well, so automatically set the temperature, 70, driver, passenger can have different temperatures, you hit sync and it always defaults back to the driver. So tons of comfort, tons of convenience, tons of power, tons of gas savings, and then tons of technology as well. So really cool stuff. You also have some connective features in here as well. So up here you have your SOS. And if you pull that down, little SOS button. So you have a year subscription to this where you push that and it automatically contacts emergency services if you were to get into an issue where you needed emergency services. Also, if you get into a wreck where an airbag deploys, it will automatically send your location to emergency services so they can come find you. I remember uh, I was presenting one of these to somebody that was a first responder and said, oh, this is going to be fantastic. He's like, you don't know how many calls we get where they're like, this car went down a ditch and we don't know where it is. It rolled off the road. We can't find it. This is going to help with that. Also, if this car is ever stolen, this system is how you can track it. It sends the exact location to the police. They go get your car back. So really cool features uh, built into this car. Technology, style, 
everything about it's just awesome. We hope you liked the walk around on the brand new 2020 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to let us know. So the best phone number is 502-214-7085. You can also visit our website at oxmoortoyota.com. Thanks guys, and we look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye.